everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Let's all fucking stand the fuck up, okay? I want you to stand up where wherever you're sitting right now and fucking give a warm welcome return to this man, this dinosaur, Little Moody Bird. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 this is too much. I want to go ahead and say thank you for what an one intro. of us. You know, why do you think, after all of the things said and done by actors and actresses of all political stripes, you were specifically targeted? Targeted. Because. Get the fuck out. Get the yeah. fuck out. Because why Jeff, were you targeted? Oh my because, god. Because Jeff, things are different than other things. I don't know how many times I need to say that. So these contracts, from what little I know about them, which isn't nothing. Mm -hmm. There are don't embarrass the boss clauses because these media companies have a image they like to maintain. And they're not afraid to boop your snoot if you're going to make a fool of yourself publicly. And I, I, I also want to add real fast, because like the idea that she was fired, it's it's kind of iffy because it's not like they canceled the contract or anything. Her contract expired and they right. said, you know, we're not renewing. Right. Yep. Uh, and I just want to say that if you're somebody that's like shows up to a stream you've never been to before and you feel like you are going to do something of value by just like posting like little half thoughts every couple of seconds and think that you're being clever. Uh, you are algorithmically poisoned and you need to fucking go touch grass. You are fucking bought and owned by fucking libertarian rich fuckers and you don't even know it. It's pathetic. But before you go touch grass, be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. Do you want to come on and talk to me about why I'm a coward? Hmm? No? Owned no? by Disney. Yeah. Wow. I wish I was owned by Disney. That's some That's money. It. That's why we're the shield cast because we're literally fucking, we got money from Disney. We got money from fucking uh, uh, Time Warner, fucking uh, from the Communist Party of China, from fucking uh, the Democrats. We got, we're fucking shills, buddy. We're fucking oh. shills. The horseman slander. What we made some jokes about it, dude. I don't think you know what slander is. Uh, I mean, that's common with Juds too. Whatever channel oh this God. guy's on, <laughs> Shadow Realm him. No, I'm don't sorry. thumbs down the think, video. <laughs> I just think this is hilarious. The idea that like we're slandering horseman. Like, I'm sorry. I I just what. Like this, this concept drives me nuts. So, so yeah. while Luigi, I got a, I got a fun fact for you. The, the like and the, uh, the, the thumbs up and thumbs down button. Don't tell Those them. are the, those are the same button. They're the same button. They do the same thing. Don't tell they, them that. They do engagement. No, listen, guys, guys. There's hate watchers watching. If you hit that download, it hurts. It hurts oh yeah, so it hurts. Cry about it. Oh, I'm sorry. This is why you're you the professional. You might get channels deleted if you hit it too much. So mm -hmm. keep on engaging in that algorithmic. I mean, hitting it. I mean, the, oh, he no likes the horse man slander, not the genus slander. Okay, those are those are. Uh, that's all right, that's the that balance is out. Sure. Sorry, sorry for not seeing the nuance there. Oh, I, uh, I thought you were here to defend the good name of Horseman. <laughs> nay, <laughs> nay, <laughs> nay. I am not. Um, oh my god. Okay, okay. Hey, look, we're at, at an hour in right now. We got 147 watchers. You know, y'all are all awesome. Even that one, even that guy. Uh, you know, like the streams, whatever, wherever you're watching it. Dislike the stream if you want to, because it really does let us know that we need to work on ourselves and we have some improvement to do. Okay. Uh, we've talked about him a little bit, perp. Uh, dude, I mean, absolutely. Whoa. Yeah. Where you, at? Where you at, homie? Fucking DM me on the on the discords or something. Yeah, sure. Christian Bale is horseman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I would pay to see that. I would go see that in theaters. I'll never buy this comic book, but I'll see that in theaters. Well, dude, like you have to take out a mortgage on your house to buy one of these comic books. That's true. <laughs> I mean, look, uh, I don't think that would work out. I think Vosh would be like the horseman's lover. <laughs> <laughs> you 
anybody familiar with Bosch lore knows about uh, his his uh, affinity for horse cocks. Um, you know, I actually did have something about He Man and the new Master, the Master of the Universe Revelation thing uh, on the, the docket for today, but I don't even know if we're going to get to I it. Didn't see that. I don't know anything about it. Well, basically, it's this. Do you remember whenever the first part came out a couple of years ago, and all the chuds were like, "It's Kevin Smith bait and switch, and blah, it's bad, and it's woke, and blah, and it's failed." Oh yeah, and stuff. yeah, and yeah. Like, you go look at the fucking ratings for that shit, and it's like through the roof. Just one of the highest rated thing, maybe that Kevin Smith has ever been responsible for. Um, you know, and, and then also this new part is the same thing. It's fucking highly rated. Everybody likes it and shit. Uh, and they're not talking about it. It's weird. They're not talking about it at all. And it's it's almost like they're cynical grifters, and it's just because it happened to catch in the algorithm the first time that they talked mm -hmm. about it, and that they're not going to talk about it again because they really never cared about it. It's kind of weird. Here's what I'll tell you about that Masters of the Universe series. I haven't seen it. I've seen little bits of it because my son watched through it, and he's not even a Masters of the Universe fan. He watched it, and he liked it. It's very good. I fucking really liked it quite a bit, especially the end. Like, the last episode was one of the best, like animated climaxes i've ever seen it was fucking great it had me like pumped up the whole time and shit i didn't even i knew it was a thing i couldn't even tell you where it was it's on netflix oh okay yep sometimes they do something good um every so often i hear you know what i'm just gonna they, email per this, this dang link uh, all right let's watch this fucking video and see what else she's got to say because like yeah you notice how it all starts out with like him just like, why are you the victim? And you're targeted. Yeah. And, you know. All these people say all this stuff, but why are you targeted? Okay, you know that she was. Why is it that some people? <laughs> somebody said that Trump is a is a bad guy, and then you say that you know basically uh, being using Twitter is the same thing as being a Jew in the Holocaust, and uh, <laughs> it's yeah. like I don't remember exactly what she said, but it was something along those something stupid. Oh, that's a good question. I um, I think maybe because I'm a bit unassuming, I oh, yeah. am easy to work oh. with, and um, I think well, sometimes, you know, if you asked anybody on that set, um, they would say, you know, I would I was the most non-controversial person, but I think up until the point when she wouldn't get uh, she wouldn't like uh, abide by safety is uh. Yeah. Mandates, I believe, was part of the problem, right? Wasn't it? There, I think there was something, but I, I, I will say, like, I, I've watched this clip, and I'll go ahead and uh, throw in my two cents right now. A part of me, like, she's still awful, but a part of me almost feels sorry for Gina Carano because I feel like what's going on right now, because she's essentially suing Disney, and it seems like part one of the things she's suing for is to get rehired, which is like, yeah, that, make that is the the first uh, prayer for relief in her her complaint. And the, yeah, it's and the weird. complaint to the California. But what, um, like, what I what I suspect is that she went full fledged into the, the the right wing grift culture, not really realizing what it was, and then they just kind of used her and then dropped her, and then now she's like, "Well, the fuck am I doing?" <laughs> yeah, she, she I, feels like she can, can get back at it or something. I don't know. Can I point out something that they're doing in this the their video presentation here? What's the bigger, okay, so when you want someone to focus on something on a visual medium, you make it the thing that's the center of focus. What's the center of focus in this? Yeah. Is it her or it's is like it Mandalorian. the Mandalorian? Looks well, like it's because this is this is a promo reel. They're trying, that's why she right. like started out by saying, I'm really easy to work with. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, yeah. Like, this is the most no. fucking baseless lawsuit. No, it no. I mean, the, the, this lawsuit's going to get laughed out of court. I don't see oh, yeah. going talking anywhere. But I, I, well, I, I do suspect like this is kind of like her going, "Wow, this is probably a bad call. Maybe, maybe I should have just deleted those tweets." It's like, yeah, no shit. Can I, can I share the complaint? Because I have some funnies I want to point out. Well, before you do that, let's, uh, let's all fucking stand the fuck up, okay? I want you to stand up where wherever you're sitting right now and fucking give a warm. Welcome, return to this man, this dinosaur, little movie perp. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you. Oh, yeah. and I oh think thank you. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, this is too much. This is too I much. I want to go ahead and say thank you, Perp. What an intro. One of us should have had a camera on a live camera feed, and thank you for doing that for us. Yeah, well, this is live. This is really me. This ain't CGI. I'm all dinosaur. 
Yeah, well, I mean, I knew it. How's it going, chat? Chats, chats, fucking, they're gonna, they're gonna catch up to how excited they are here in just a minute. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're starting now. Uh, how are you doing, man? What's I'm good. How, how are you guys, man? Pretty good, you know. Considering I've been, uh, I've been enjoying the streams, I've been haunting your chats every once in a while. And enjoying. Someone told me you got your own streams going on. I haven't seen. I haven't managed. To catch oh yeah, them, I'm like. doing. I'm doing several streams. I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing my own stuff, talking about the weirdo movies I watch, and then uh, I got I got some with actually CJH, who's a chatter here. I didn't know that until recently. Uh, CJH, I do like this thing called the After Show. We're looking for a show to go after, so we can be the After Show. So that's ah, what doing. clever, oh. so clever. We're just girl. running around, going Why after other I mean, shows, talking about those shows. You're welcome to be our After Show anytime. Hey, you heard that, CJH? We got one. <laughs> Like and you know, I will we'll even do like a kick it over to you kind of thing. Probably, you know, <laughs> yeah, we like, just talk about what you guys talk about. We figured yeah. that's the easiest way to coast like hosting. Just, a podcast. just watch the stream that you just watched, just watch it again. Yeah, and we just talk about it. It's like man, I really like when Dane said that. That was good. <laughs> uh but yeah, by the way, Turf Nation is off this week. He's got some exams going on and stuff. Uh, you know, uh, we where are his some... priorities anyway? Right. Concerned about like, IRL stuff, Jesus. <sighs> He's fapping off camera, that's where he is. Yeah, so um you know for a while I thought that guy was a serial killer, but oh he's from Sweden. It was like oh yeah, okay. It's it, I mean it's Denmark. <laughs> I get it now. But yeah. <laughs> Those are the um, same thing. We're American here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, no, because me and him are both Danish, see. Oh, that's right, right of course. Oh, sure, sure. Well, I thought you were um, full Dane and he was Danish. <laughs> no, I'm the one that's Danish. Uh, anyway, oh, you know, uh, okay. so Perp, I think I remember that you actually did know some stuff about the Gina Carano situation. Do you remember what the details were with like why she got fucking canceled? It's not so much that I know. It's that okay. So I, I, I'm sort of in the industry. Uh, I did, I did a an He's episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm Michael Bay. Okay, there, the cat's out of the bag. No, <laughs> I did an episode of Ash vs Evil Dead. I've had like a two, two. I had one short film in oh, some and another one in anthology. Fucking uh, stain it, stain it out. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it out loud. I don't care. Anymore. All right, all right. I'm just saying it. <laughs> I'm putting my credentials out there. So yeah, um, and when the whole like virus COVID thing was happening, like Hollywood was like absolutely freaking out in terms of set protocols and stuff like that. And I just thought to myself, man, if she's out there tweeting about like, oh, I'm anti-mask, oh, it's a fake virus or whatever, whatever she did. Maybe she didn't say those exact words, of course. But like that has to make people on set uncomfortable because Hollywood was all about masking up, doing mm -hmm. protocols, all that stuff. So it's like that had to have been a factor, even though Disney maybe didn't say it. I just kept silently thinking that um, while this was going. I was like, why, why wouldn't they just say that? Like, you know, because yeah. that, that is a big deal. Like we all yeah. heard how King of Hollywood, Tom Cruise freaked out when people right. were yeah. breaking mm -hmm. Hollywood protocol on set. Like yeah. that's, a, that's a deal. And like, you know, insurance goes up, all this stuff. Uh, I always said the example of agents calling up, you know, uh, Disney. Hey, hey, uh, my actor doesn't want to work with someone that's not going to mask up if they have COVID, blah, blah, blah. All that, all that headache was just rushing through my head. Is like, you know, that had to have been a factor. Maybe right. they didn't say it, but no, like, sure. I just thought I mean, of it. Yeah. I mean, it's worth saying lots of people got fired for refusing to mask up and, and even being anti-mask. Because essentially, like where I work, it was one or the other for a while. You have to mask up or get vax. You, you can't dance around it. And, and yeah. because if you look at a, a serious <laughs> fucking thing. If you look at a pink uh, pink bunny's uh, comment on screen here, that actually I do remember that now. And that's yeah, that's, yeah, that right. is, that's yeah. gonna do it, man. That's gonna that's, fucking do it. That's gonna do it. That'll get you every time. If it's not the vaccine thing, it's the other thing that's gonna do mm -hmm. it. You did it's like you you did two a twofer and like a two mm -hmm. the two things that you almost like or the two things you shouldn't do, you did them both at the same time. Yep. And then you're like, well, I don't I mean, get it. Why am I facing consequences for this? And yeah, that. That's, well, and that's, I, I, you know, <laughs> she is a, if I may be so bold, there's a high chance that she, she's just doing this now because someone has rolled up with the money to finance it. Because the time to file this lawsuit would have been, you know, back when it happened, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. You know, she 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 got fired by Disney and she was used for a little bit by the Chuds and you know now now she's not as useful. Now it seems like Elon Musk is using her. She's she's right. I think she's a useful idiot, to be blunt. Yeah. I mean, okay. Look, let's 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 be honest here too. Like 
maybe there would be more of a uh, you know more more calls going her way if I mean look if you've seen the the season of the Mandalorian she was in uh you know she's not good she's not very good at she's, all like she's basically fine yeah a Star I'm Wars, be fine I said she's a, passable yeah a Star Wars is basically one of the only things she could be in because if you, it, that's the you could, we're used to kind of like stilted dialogue uh, right. and stuff in Star Wars. yeah 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 it goes with the um, flow yeah yeah, bad dialogue is a proud Star Wars tradition. But then, then she goes <laughs> has the best dialogue ever. She then she just goes matches she's with in great the... actors who only work in green screen. It's just like the perfect <laughs> matching of acting. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, then she, she goes and she stars in uh, uh, freaking Daily Wire movies. And what was that one movie that uh, Terror, Terror on the Prairie that she that made maybe a fucking whopping eight hundred dollars in theaters. Box office, wow. not eight hundred thousand, not eight hundred million, eight hundred. Eight hundred and four to be exact. Oh, big money. Yeah, it, I mean, Josh, that's exactly right, man. Like, it is all yeah. just throw. It's, it, we're going to see a lot of shit this year. Let's go ahead and prepare mm -hmm. ourselves for it. We're going to just see them throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks from now until election day. And you know. yeah, there, there's a couple way. I, I I actually think it could go a couple ways because, um, I think the whole goal is for like the the media, whatever. You know, she has a whole like ecosystem of like all these like media outlets and stuff that that are rooting for her that like do all this stuff so it's like if even if they get to something like like discovery or whatever that is going to like feed that machine forever of stories and all that and disney no matter what the, isn't going to want to deal with any of this and they're going to settle and that's going to oh, be yeah. looked at as a win exactly how ripa played it and it's mm -hmm. like i'm kind of seeing this in a way of like they know this is bull crap, but it it works for, you know, you know, social media. It just works for right. social media, and that's what's important mm -hmm. right now. Look what happened well, with the with the Trump stuff, like a, a fraud well, election and all that stuff. It, it still works for the media, even though every court case, everything's been completely shut down. They have mm -hmm. nothing because you know? it turns out that the internet was a mistake. It's it's um, social internet was a mistake for sure. So yeah. the, the I, you I, mentioned Trump, and I wanted to hone in on something there quick. I wonder, and this is entirely conspiratorial thinking on my part. This comes out the same day that we get the um, Court of Appeals ruling that Trump isn't immune from prosecution because he was president that one time. Mm -hmm. And it just sucks up so much attention. And, you know, you can do a Fox News spot and everything and just like have that ecosystem completely tuned out from the fact that basically the second most powerful court in the country found that no Donald Trump can be found culpable for his crimes. Right. Yeah. I got, I got a little last night uh, at another stream. I got conspiratorial too. It's like, when she just came from Megacon. She saw that fan current fan base and she's like, you know what? I want that Disney fan base. Oh. Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that I, graphic I, I know, screen is possible. Please. <laughs> Because if you yeah. look at the documents, she asked, she's asking to be reinstated in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, man, like, I have a proposal. I, <laughs> so, so that's not going to be um, uncomfortable on set if she wins. Like, if she gets everything she wants, she's going to be on set. Like, everyone knowing that is like, okay. <laughs> All right. So here is my my compromise proposal. If Disney wants to settle and she has to be rehired, right, for whatever dumb reason, right? Did you know, Mister Disney, Bob Iger, whoever, come talk to me. I got a plan. There's a, a Star Wars book uh, called The Kratos Trap, and it is about, on the planet Coruscant, the Empire releases a virus and then tries to sabotage the New Republic for making a cure. And Rogue oh. Squadron are the heroes of this story, and they have to work with an alien race of non-binary insects to create a cure for the, this disease. And I feel like that's right up Gina's alley. She loves all of those things, non-binary people. She loves pronouns, loves fighting plagues, really, really about doing public health care right up her alley, a classic New Republic story for Star Wars in a new era. Huh. I think that's the plan. Okay. Let's let's make it happen. Make it, let's do it. <laughs> that's my compromise position. So Disney, if you if you want one if you want that one, that one's free. That's on me. Just like pay Mike Stackpole royalties. Okay. 
Uh, so Gina Carano, uh, I don't like any of that stuff that apparently Matt Jarbo was saying last night. Uh, McLeod, I don't, I think that's not, I mean, I haven't heard him say it myself, but if that's what he said, then I don't know how he would make those claims without any kind of evidence. Uh, you know, it's kind of just like, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't pay she's, attention to Jarbo. She's just kind of dumb, whether or not it's cause she got beaten the head a bunch of times or, or not. I don't know. But like she, she just seems to have. Uh, she had, the, she felt like she had a lot of support, I think in the moment, whenever she was, mm-hmm. you know, posting that shit she posted and you know, that's, that's the, the de- social media, right? Yep. Like, that's the deception of so- social media, right? Like he's like, Oh, everybody's on my side. I can fucking get away with this. And then suddenly it's like, Oh wait, there's consequences that are like greater than the, that high feeling I had a minute ago. Um, she and, yeah. uses a lot of funny things in the lawsuit. I, yeah, it's, it's amazing. We we should we might have to go over it again. Uh, go over it more in detail on on the next fat maybe because yeah we, maybe we gotta, maybe this yeah, is gonna be a fat if, thing. If it's public that could be interesting. Yeah. We could we could put our Superman Sunday show aside for we can cover this on Sunday because I think legal news is something we could dive our toe in a little bit because there's a lot of fear around the legal system. Well, I mean, a court of law is designed to intimidate. You're you're completely correct. I I have a funny story I can share about that on Sunday then. Uh, remind me to tell my court story i did hear something about her naming carl weathers and it's like well that's interesting fucking timing (laughs) yeah perfect timing keep that man's name out of your mouth the point is to put everyone's big name in there kathleen kennedy was there john Mm -hmm. favreau's there is to get these people to make this depositions you know right and that's like and that's what disney does not want so they'll settle i'll settle yeah Right, they're totally going to settle. Or, um, or the other thing they will do is fire off a counter suit for more money than God has, and um, right, that's the other option. Right, is just to make it so expensive that it never. See, has I, I, I disagree, Josh, because I haven't even heard of them putting anything out, and you're asking us to cut react. Yeah. Oh, I oh they Dane, you missed their trailer. You missed. They have a trailer, Dane. Oh boy, they have a trailer. More than it's just the Desire Rise. I saw thing it. With the look, look. Let me. I'll say this. It. I'll say this. Whenever <laughs> if it gets react to a point. Stream. Okay, but if it gets to a point whenever I'm hearing about it from more than like one source, because you know, like when Ripperverse, that was the thing. It's like, okay, I'm hearing about this a lot. That's like, true. I had to look this thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, I know that they did. They produced some movie or distributed movie that was like from Africa. Did you fucking see that? No, I saw the trailer. I just saw the trailer. That was enough for me. Of uh, no, I mean, the, is that the one you're talking about though? I have no idea where it's from. No, uh, it's a sci-fi movie. It takes looks like it takes place in a couple warehouses. Oh, God. One warehouse. Um, So, wait, who's the idea and the entity of the Phantom Chud? Well, let's get there.